Addressing the media at the Uganda Media Center, Lieutenant Colonel Dewaki, the spokesperson of the UPDF, revealed that the Joint Security Forces election architecture is being developed to ensure that all Ugandans exercise their right to vote in the forthcoming elections without causing any harm to one another or destroying property. We had primaries, there were some issues, both involving us and involving some of the contenders. We have a reason to believe that some of the things did not go well and we don't want that to happen again. And therefore, standard operating procedures are being put in place to make sure that uh, we don't have any encumbrances we as security. And no any security person should do something contrary to what he's supposed to do. So, when you have special operations, it is always good to make standard operating procedures to follow for specific operations. And that's what the Joint Security Architecture is working on to ensure that we have very safe and secure and peaceful elections. On the show media report suggesting LLA leader Joseph Kony requesting for peace talks with government, Akik says they cannot confirm or deny the reports, but when all facts are gathered, government will pronounce itself on the matter. Yeah, we've got a lot of calls from the media about it, but as UPDF, it's not yet our time, or it may not be our time to talk about LRA seeking for peace or not. We cannot confirm or deny the fact that LRA could have taken such an action, but it's not yet within our domain. And in any case, if anything of that matter comes up, we are sure government will inform you of the developments. But at the, co at the moment, we don't have that information provided to us by government. For Fred Enanga, the spokesperson of the Uganda Police Force, he issued a warning to sectors that are still three operating, yet they are still under the COVID-19 lockdown, that their days are numbered, and that will be apprehended in just a matter of time. What I've been realizing is that uh, there are those sectors that have been stealthily uh, operating, and yet they are still under the lockdown. People are still sneaking, going into bars, uh, having uh, public... Uh, gatherings, uh, some of those markets that are not supposed to operate, like uh, those dealing in non-essential items have also come out. So we are going to ensure that those sectors under the lockdown still remain under so. The Joint Security Forces also revealed that over the weekend, one arrest was made of the escapees from the motor prison bringing the total of accounted for ones, including the shot dead in operations, to 33 out of the escaped 119. Stephen Mayombwe for Speak Uganda Record TV, Kampala.